Foxy recently made their entry into the SharkBite ring with their Digisight Nano camera. And I have to do a little bit of a disclaimer just before this review in saying that I have always been a Foxier fanboy. Since the very beginning of my FPV experience, I have run everything from the Predator to the Falcor to everything in between. And a little bit of a plot spoiler is the Foxier really disappointed me in this review. I did these cameras side by side, same day, within 10 minutes of each other because I brought my little Allen keys out and I swapped out the cameras because I wanted to give them both a very fair shakedown and a very fair shot. And I will say that the run cam detail resolution is so much better than the Fox Ear. Fox Ear almost looks like it's just a very clear analog signal. So let's get into this. We start off by just a quick flying of the run cam because I kind of wanted to get a feel for it again. I had not been running my digital system because I was letting someone else borrow it. And here you can see just the incredible detail in the branches. When I get up high here, you're going to see that you can see even where the lawn was mowed. Here you can see that there's plenty of dynamic range. It resolves all the little leaves and all the little branches really well so you can get in there. Even here, and this is where the stark contrast comes into play because I do the same path uh, a little bit later with the fox ear and here you can see all the branches and I'm able to go really slow in between all these branches just because I want to enjoy it, I want to experience it. Here I go in between what probably should have been impossible because of all those little tiny branches inside the sun and that was my biggest critique of the run cam was that haze that you get when you're directly into the sun or even at an oblique angle. And here it resolved it just fine. There was no issue. And that's where the Fox Ear, fortunately, did show itself really nicely. It doesn't have any of that um, haze to it. Now here we fly with the Fox Ear, and instantly you can see that the leaves look blocky, it looks chunky. There's a lot less detail in the actual camera footage. The dynamic range was even disappointing because I was used to the Falcor, which has incredible dynamic range. Flying into these branches, you can see there's a lot less of that three-dimensional feel that you get with the run cam. I don't feel nearly as inspired or as confident in going into those branches. Here, uh, I try to fly in between these branches to get a good idea of that dynamic range. And I'm able to do it, but it does not have that confidence and inspiration that the run cam does. Here, when you're looking into the sun, and the sun is behind all those leaves, it actually almost gives kind of a very, very single dimension look to it. The dynamic range just simply isn't there with the fox ear that you get with the run cam, which is shocking because fox ear has always been famous for its dynamic range. So here I fly the same path through the same tree, and of course I start with the fox ear because I wanted to get you an idea, and here we go with the run cam. Now, I'm going to do them side by side here in a moment, but I can tell you that the bark and the needles in this pine tree are way, way clearer in the run cam than it was in the fox ear. And see how you it doesn't look two-dimensional even when you're staring directly into the sun. So here I go again, just to get you an idea. Again, way more detail. Now, I took some screenshots of running through this, and I, I put them on side-by-side side here. And as you can see, this is the run cam, and this is the fox ear. Great color on the fox ear, but really blocky. Side by side, I think you can really tell the difference. Even my wife was kind of shocked at how different the two look. And then side by side, obviously not synced, but you can see the difference between the two. And I run it again just to give you an idea. But I think you can really tell that the detail in the run cam versus the fox ear, it, it's, there's just no comparison. So again, in conclusion, I hope that you understand that I have always been and always will be a Fox Ear fanboy. But when it comes to this specific camera, the Digisight Nano, it does not compare with the run cam, which is really disappointing. I really wanted Fox Ear's entry into the SharkBite realm to be a lot more of a one-two punch. And it just disappointed all around. The dynamic range wasn't there. The color detail wasn't there, the detail in the actual resolution wasn't there, so again, it just fell short all around. And I hope 
really do hope that going forward that Foxier does make a better camera with more than just a claimed 720 resolution. They need to really hit it out of the park. And I hope that with the competition, Runcam will even come out with possibly a better camera. I think part of it is that everyone is tailoring this toward the racer's market. And I think we who don't necessarily do the racing as much, but just want the experience of flying, really need a full-size camera or, or a micro camera, even a mini camera. But the nano camera... It just, you can't fit as big a sensor as you need into it. So I hope the review was helpful for anyone who was trying to discern whether they need to get the Fox here. But at this point, skip it and just go straight to the run cam. Thank you very much.